got one with Tyson and even a roaming chicken today with Tyson roaming around. We want to appreciate their mascot being here. Cargill and New Zealand lamb are at the other end. They have New Zealand lamb, lamb chops, leg of lamb, some brisket and petite filet. Enjoy yourselves at the National Pro Barbecue Tour. At 11.30, we'll be having the five regional winners come to the stage, reveal a protein, and they will have till 2 p.m. to cook and go head to head at the National Pro Barbecue Tour presented by Sam's Club. Run, run. 35 seconds. Come on, 25 seconds, 20, 15, oh now he's going to get fancy, what, oh it always makes me cringe, 10 seconds left, just in time. Burning and looting out of Las Vegas region, they came through quietly and then came through with a thunderous score in Las Vegas. Did a great job out there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have all three judges line up behind the table here. The first team to turn in, so we pay attention to heat. I always pay attention to heat with the meat. So this this was the first to come in, correct, Dennis? All right. Oh, it's not Dennis, it's Linda. What was I thinking? I saw the barbecue cowboy. It's Linda Polson gonna be up here tasting. Oh my. So judges, feel free to glove up. You'll have forks, you've got uh, we're going to have some water for you as well. Chris is bringing that right now. Make yourselves at home. It's barbecue after all. Now, with this, we're going to judge on appearance, taste, and tenderness. That's what in their mind they're going to be judging on. Then they're going to give you their overall, their overall judging um, results. Now, they will not be giving you 999-989. You will not get a card back. This is going to be them going through with the KCBS criteria of appearance, taste, and tenderness, and then them coming to a consensus as to the winner. Shake and bake. The tallest man in barbecue making his way to the table. Had a very, it was Edmund, wasn't it? It was only, wow, it seems like a few weeks ago. But, well, it was a little bit. Um, we had the cartwheel man. Now, with your box, do you want to open it and present it and show them what you got? Explain to them what you uh, actually put in there and why? Okay. Yeah, we took the uh, Smithfield pork loin, which is an awesome piece of meat. Um, actually injected it and, and let it get a quick brine on. Uh, did a, Cut it into like three inch thick medallions and I did like a reverse sear. Kind of put it on my smoker and let it uh, get up to about 100 degrees. Took it off, let it rest and then uh, raised the charcoal up and got a good sear on the outside. Made a bed of uh, garlic lemon, uh, pasta on the bottom of it, some some naans around the outside. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Do you want to explain to the judges? We did a uh, good old fashioned southern grilled pork chop with a uh, honey whiskey bacon chutney. That sounds southern till we got to chutney. We're going, oh my, good, good, goodness. Now, was there a reason that you went with the Southern flavor profile? We're from the South. <laughs> 10 to 1 odds, I knew it. Ask a silly question, get a silly answer. Box four, come on up. Lucky 19. Out of Madison, wasn't it? The Madison region. Share with us what you got in the box and why. Uh, well, nothing says Arkansas like some Thai lettuce wraps. So <laughs> we, uh, we were winging it. Pulled in a little help, and uh, we took the world's largest Smithfield pork loin, and we cut it up into little tiny pieces, and we uh, turned it into some beautiful Thai lettuce wraps. Nice hot day. I hope you have some crisp and fresh. That's it. What cooking technique did you use on cooking those uh, tenderloin or the loin? Uh, cook it on a drum cooker. Cook it on a drum cooker, a little hot and fast, and then chop, then then cut it up, or nope, did you cook it? it? The, chopped it, then cooked it. Okay, judges, let's close that up. And the fifth box, come on up. You still had 10 seconds left. Let's see what you got in the box. Coming from the West Coast, what did you bring us today? Okay, so uh, it's a, uh, I, I put the whole loin on, a, on one of Tim's drums. I, I even stole some charcoal from him. And, uh, Does he know? Yeah, he, oh, he was okay. cool about it. And um, cooked it right on there. Uh, I put a sauce on there that I thought it was a little spicy. So I like, tried to sweeten that up at the end. Um, what was most tender was the tenderloin that was attached to it. So I cut up some of that, and that's what I turned in. 
and I topped it with some bacon jam. So hopefully you guys like it. A little pork on pork action. You can't beat that. Great job. Okay, judges, if we can, we're going to... Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought he... There you go. Okay. In your minds, making your mental notes on appearance, what you enjoyed, and then let's get on to the, uh, the tenderness and taste. We can't have great events like this without great rep teams. This represents two of the rep teams of the five we used this year trying to make consistent contests on the National Pro Barbecue Tour. The Shiflets and the Polsons, give it up for them. I, I really appreciate my reps. The Low Gage is, of course, doing the finals with the uh, rep teams. They try and make the KCBS rules as consistent and cookie cutter as possible when we're doing an event with 30 different competitions where you're trying to qualify for the finals. All right, we'll set this one back, and then you can choose to look at any number that you would like. Gazing at the the lemon pasta with the uh, from Shake and Bake. I'm this close and I can't tell what they're saying to each other. That's how low and secretive they're being. They're taking this very seriously, scrutinizing eyes. Experienced eyes. Field winner takes all, is that correct? Yep. Yep. Winner takes all. If you're not first, you're last. Yeah. <laughs> not first, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you come to a decision? Decisions have been made. Box number one, Shake and Bake, congratulations. Come on up and get you some. We actually have you a gift card here and imagine that, a Smithfield chair. Vanna White will do like this. Very nice, congratulations, appreciate it. Great effort today. Folks, come on up and try you some. To the world's largest payday in barbecue for $150,000. The National Pro Barbecue Tour presented by Sam's. You are 50 of the 152 master judges that vied for the positions to judge today. Congratulations and welcome. You know, with, with Sam's Club, they like numbers, and, and some of the numbers that I love to share is we've done about 220 of these contests in seven years. It has been an amazing run with barbecue. I love the fact that uh, we've had the Sam's Tour and going around and showcasing barbecue to the members and inspiring them to potentially cook a brisket or try something new, and uh, it's been a wonderful ride. We can't have this sport without great judges, and thank you for coming to to uh, taste some of the best barbecue in the world. I know that these teams out here are dialed in and all serious. If you roam around through the aisles, you'll see it in their eyes. They are very focused and ready to perform for y'all today. With the event itself, we did 31 events in 33 weeks. We can't do that without great rep teams. Yay! I would like if all my reps would come up front, please. I'd like to recognize them. One day, one day, that's you too. Come on up. We've got the Lowlands and Gages, so affectionately known as Low Gages. They've quit traveling the world, and they're actually coming home to the land. We've got the Williams, the Lundies, we're the Shiflets. We've got the Polsons. Shiflets, y'all hiding from us. Don't you hide that KCBS shirt. Come on up here with that thing. You've got bling today. I went to cookbook. Give it up for your rep teams that have been able to perform this year. Thank you so much. Also
also, too, they'll be table captaining and helping you out today. But right after this meeting, we'd like to have all the reps be, meet right back there at the green wall, if you would, please. Sound good? Thank you very much. Appreciate you. We can't do this great sport without the love and passion of a lot of people. Um, Y'all as judges have come from near and far, and, and uh, we thank you. It's, uh, it's uh, unusual when you're judging under a blue tent. You've got to be happy you're out of the weather today. You've got some good light today, don't you? So you'll see it in all its glory. $3 million in prize money, Sam's has told out in, over, in seven years. And they started with one event in Midwest City, Oklahoma. They had an invitational, and uh, they were inspired by the barbecue passion, and they've come along with us for the ride, and uh, it's been a great partnership. I want to introduce Mike Hayes, Board of Directors President. Come on up. I'm going to make him speak a little bit. As president, we got to get a speech, right? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not much of a speech guy. I just thank you all for being here. Uh, I know you're in school for some good food today. And uh, glad you had safe travels to get here. And hope you have safe travels to get home. And we really appreciate your participation. Because this is a competitor series, when we're out on site, we use the Southwest Shuffle. Because y'all are all master judges, that would lump y'all together and we wouldn't be spread you up by experience. So what we've done is try and equally distribute you with uh, regions in mind. So we've got the flavor profiles of America spread amongst the tables. Make some new friends, make some new buddies, and uh, enjoy what your opinions are. We're looking forward to seeing those written on paper. I'm going to turn it over to the reps. Once again, thank you for coming to Sam's Club, and thank you for being a part of the process. Thanks, Mike. I tell you, I wish we had that kind of welcome every time we go to a contest. So you've been very kind to us. We appreciate that very much. Judges, uh, uh, good morning, everybody. We've got an exciting day ahead of us. There's a bunch of teams out there that's been working very, very hard all night long to try to get the best product in front of you, the judges, we can. So, we got the best of the best out there, as Mike mentioned, the winners from five different regions. Uh, they've been working hard, they're excited about it, and uh, I think you'll see by the time they, we have our awards this afternoon at 4 o'clock how excited they are. It's going to be a good day for us all. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to recognize a few people. Uh, thanks, Mike, again for introducing us. Carolyn Wells, is Carolyn here? I saw her step in a few minutes ago. First Lady of Barbecue. She, she must be outside somewhere, okay. She's out doing her duties already this morning. Uh, I'd like also to thank uh, uh, Pam and Morris for signing in. I think everybody knows Pam and Morris and Teresa Lake. Teresa's going to be our input person today, so uh, they help make our job, job, job a lot easier as such. And to you all, especially, uh, for coming here. Let me tell you a little bit about yourself. Uh, you mentioned we had uh, 152 master judges. We had 1,000. 803 judges signed up to judge today. That's a lot of people, folks. Of those, we had, uh, of, of that many number, we had 58 of them are master judges here out of that 152 of them and such. So we're excited about that. The average age, our average years that you've judged is 8.2 years and such. So that's how important this is. And, and, and thanks to you guys, it makes it that much easier for us. I want to play a little game here before we get serious. What, how many years of judging do you think we've got in this room? Anybody want to guess? Two thousand. yeah. Total number of years. Too many years of judging in this room right now. How much? Four hundred. Four hundred. Somebody said five hundred. Keep on. Seven fifty. That's a little high. Five hundred. Total of 
525 years judging experience in this ring. I don't know of another contest that has that many. I can't think of another contest that has that many years. Who had that, uh, who had that number back there? I got a prize all the way from Salzburg, Austria for you. Some great chocolates. Yeah. You can share those with your table. Fun to have a little chocolate before we get into the seriousness. Uh, Bill's going to get in and talk about the rules and we'll get to the serious side of it. But just as a reminder, I think everybody realizes why we're here today. We've got a lot of reps here. We've got table captains who are going to be your reps. Uh, they know all, a lot of the answers, but at any time during the process today, if you have any questions, please let your table captain know. We will have an answer for you. Okay. We want to ensure the fairness and integrity of the contest, and that's the reason we're here. That's the reason we have all master judges and, and reps at the next table captain. So we're excited. Thank you for being here. You're going to make our job a lot easier. We're going to have fun today, guys. Okay. We have to judge everybody. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To objectively and subjectively, subjectively, and subjectively evaluate each barbecue meat that is presented to my eyes, my nose, my hands, and my palate. I accept my duty to be a Sam's Pro Barbecue Tour 2017 judge. So that, so that truth, justice, justice excellence, in barbecue, excellence in barbecue, and the American way of life, way of life may be strengthened and preserved forever. I had the right amount of smoke, very nice seasoning, and the tenderness was spot on. Uh, my least favorite was number four. The sauce overpowered the meat, it was difficult to get taste from the meat. The sample was also a bit chewy. Favorite for me was going to be sample number three. That was well balanced, tender, had some a little bit of spice to it. Least favorite. Probably number two. Uh, it was a little flat. My favorite also was number three. Um, it, just, it had a really great flavor and it had a nice little tip to it and just, just the right amount of spice. Um, my least favorite was number one. It just was uh, <coughs> kind of flat. There wasn't a lot of flavor to it. <coughs> My favorite was number three. Um, very moist, very tender. I think what brought it to the top was uh, the seasoning. It was very well seasoned. You could taste the meat, the smoke flavor came through. Very nice balanced flavor. My least favorite probably was number five. Uh, the texture wasn't as moist um, as it should have been, or as it could have been. And uh, the flavor. Uh, my favorite is very difficult, but uh, number one was extremely tender. I bit through the skin and it separated perfectly. Uh, number three did the same. The flavor on number one and number four were my favorite flavor profiles. I would say my least favorite and it's difficult was either probably number two. How to choose a favorite and a least favorite on a plate like that, but uh, number five was my favorite. I thought it was perfectly cooked, good amount of smoke, good uh, flavor profile. Uh, number two was my least favorite, but uh, it, could, it was just barely. Thank you all very much. Thank you. It was a, 
you know, it's a fantastic play to ribs, especially at this level. Number one was probably my least favorite, only because uh, the brown sugar or whatever they used tasted burnt on it. I didn't like that burn taste on it. Number five was my favorite. It had a good pull. It came clean off the bone. The flavor was nice, not too spicy, not too fruity. So uh, that was probably my favorite. Okay, the first one had a, uh, a good chew to it, but, and a nice uh, l layer of spice. Number two was a little underdone. Same with uh, number three. Four was a little overdone. And five had, uh, was done really, really uh, correct. And it had a nice um, layer of spice that uh, opened as you as as you uh, chew had to chew. Okay, um, my favorite was number five. It had a good taste. The texture was nice. It had a clean bite off the bone. Um, the, as a group, it was really good. But my least favorite was four, uh, number two. Was probably because it was just a little under undercooked. Yeah, overall, it was a good uh, for appearance wise. It was a good uh, set of ribs. Uh, number one was my least favorite. It did have that burnt uh, taste to it. And uh, number five was my favorite. It hit the best balance between taste and tenderness. And it was, uh, it's what a good rib should taste like. Number one was my least favorite. It was a bone with uh, a very little meat. Also, it was overcooked and hard to uh, get a really good bite. My favorite, number five, was a very meaty piece, uh, well cooked, easy tug off the bone, and a very balanced taste overall. The ribs were all very good. Um, my least favorite, least favorites were numbers one and four. Uh, number one seemed to be overcooked and um, had a, a bitter taste. Number four. Um, was very meaty, I like that, but was overcooked. Um, I did enjoy number five and uh, very uh, good uh, tenderness, um, pulled off the bone, good flavor. I also enjoyed the flavor on number two. I thought it was good flavor, but maybe a little bit undercooked. flavors were really decent on these six categories. Number one had the tenderness is pretty much spot on, just a little overcooked, I thought. Number two was a little overcooked on the outside, I like burnt ends or burnt sides, but it got a little overdone. Number three was pretty much straight on the money. It's just good flavor, good texture. Number four, I thought was uh, a little undercooked and number five it probably was one of the better ones I thought okay um, this is a really good plate of pork I will say um, number one was delicious tenderness was was great um, number two best pork flavor I really really enjoyed the flavor of that and the tenderness was right on there as well um, Three, again, tenderness was great. Flavor, good. I mean, I could actually eat this whole plate. Um, number four, again, tenderness was on. Um, flavor was okay. Um, 
the last one, the five, I felt was a little dry. Um, again, flavor was great, but a little on the dry side for me. This was a great uh, plate of pork here. Uh, very, very tasteful. My uh, favorite overall is the second one. Had a nice little sauce on that. Uh, very good tenderness. Uh, as far as my least, uh, the uh, fourth one um, I, I thought was a little bit bland. It was very tender. Um, the money muscle itself had flavor to it with the pork or with the bark on there, uh, but the uh, strips didn't have any flavor to me. The last one had a nice smoke on it, but uh, it was a bit chewy. My uh, number one I thought was a little bit overcooked. The flavor was pretty much spot on, but the, uh, the tenderness of the meat, I think it was a little bit overcooked. My number two I thought had a great flavor on it. Uh, it was cooked to perfection, I thought. One of my favorites. Number three, I'd say that was a, a little dry. Uh, the flavor was okay on that. Not nothing to really brag about, but I think it was all right. My number four, I thought that was okay. Um, the flavor was good. A little bit dry, but it was still pretty good. My number five was my very favorite. I thought the flavor was there. The flavor profile was spot on. Uh, I thought it was cooked to perfection, and uh, my all, fa my all, my number one favorite. Once again, it was all around pretty good pork. I like the first one. Uh, it seemed to have a little better smoke taste to me. Uh, the second one, I thought was a little undercooked, um, a little hard to pull. The third one was, it was, pr it was pretty good. Um, flavor was good. The fourth one, I thought it was a little undercooked too. Um, the flavor was okay, but it seemed a little tough. The fifth one, I liked it also. Good flavor, good tenderness, all around pretty good pork. My number one, I found it to be overcooked just a little bit and toward the dry side. Number two was one of my favorites. It uh, pretty well was spot on with most everything there. Number three was dry, and I had a hard time with it. Number four, it was just slightly overcooked, and it was a little bit dry. Number five was my favorite. It was, everything was spot on with that. Actually, I guess the best one I liked the best was probably number five. I was really disappointed in most all of them, but uh, five tastes more like a beefy. Probably the least was number one. They were just uh, devoid of taste, I thought, completely. My favorite was number five. Um, it was very beefy, and the, the spices complemented very well. The, my least favorite was number one. It was way too salty and tasted too much like bouillon or consomme. I think everybody brought their A game today. Um, my favorite was number two. I thought it had a good flavor profile, really good uh, tenderness. I would say one and three had some strange flavors to it, way too salty and uh, but again, I thought uh, two and in, in five were uh, the best. Can any of you smile? I mean, <laughs> you got them? Okay. Now I need somebody to tell us, tell the camera who all these people are. Not by name. For all reps. For. Thank you. <laughs> Your reserve grand champion with a 702.8344. That check amount is $25,000. Rocky Top Barbecue. Seven oh two point eight four six zero, your grand champion of the National Pro Barbecue Tour. The sixth times the charm, Q and Stewart. Be careful when you step up.
up. Congratulations, champs. Great job. Don't forget this. We've got something else for you to hold, too. Look at this, folks. You don't get that every day in barbecue. Your grand champion for $50,000. Just like one step to the right, please. Thank you. Congratulations.